We are now very pleased to be joined in studio, sort of, via video this morning by Jonathan Shapiro, otherwise known as Zapiero, South Africa's most celebrated and, yes, controversial cartoonist. He is brilliant. He is a national treasure, and his latest collection of satirical work is out. It's called Do the Macarona. Jonathan, <laughs> a very warm welcome. How are you, sir? Well, thanks. And yourselves? Oh, so good to very have you in the good, studio. Man. Jonathan, we've got to ask you, though, man. I mean, it's been such a crazy time. How have you been? How have you been coping? Personally, I, you know, I haven't had the, the greatest lockdown, but, you know, when I think about my circumstances compared to so many other people, I kind of don't want to complain because um, I, I think people have, you know, across the world and particularly in South Africa have had a really, really rough time. And what COVID has done is it's actually exacerbated, it's, 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 it's increased the divisions that are already in every society, particularly the unequal societies like ours. So I don't want to complain too much. I haven't enjoyed it so much. What I have enjoyed doing is the cartoons because there's so much fantastic material that I want to communicate about. And uh, some of it I think is worth saying. Definitely, we know that you are able to cut through the clutter and really present an image of the society that yes, allows us to laugh, but also allows us to think very critically. COVID-19 aside, if we are even capable of being able to do that, what are some of the other topics or references that have popped up in your 2020 annual collection? First of all, I would say that um, when you talk about other topics, it's <laughs> almost as if COVID has overwhelmed everything so that there are, there, there's, there's COVID and then there are related things. Like, for example, fake news, which is an important thing any time and any year, but has become massively important again this year, even you know more than ever. So I say I've looked at fake news for itself and in relation to COVID. I've looked at corruption, as I always do, but of course there's been massive corruption related to COVID. So just generally running from before, there were things like the, the, the Zona Commission, inquiring to state capture. I mean, that's been huge. And of course, the two major factions in the ANC I always say not that the one is so brilliant, but the other one, the <laughs> Ace Magashule, which still has the kind of Zuma thing. And I've looked at that a lot. I've looked at populist leaders around the world, again, also in relation to COVID. People like Donald Trump, uh, Bolsonaro in, in, in Brazil, Modi in, in India. Uh, I've looked at that and how badly that's affected people across the world. And you've got other places that are interestingly led by women where things have been a lot better. New Zealand among them and the sport comes into it every now and then. Uh, the, the book almost begins with the uh, with our fantastic World Cup win, which seems like so, so long ago. It does. Uh, but it was just a year ago. Jonathan, look, you're mentioning all these let's call it events, and, and for you as an artist, uh, you're fueled by the external. And if I look at just this past year in 2020, and there's been so much material, there's been so much that's happened, how on earth do you then decide to kind of create a focus and what do you then focus on in order to kind of bring that art to life and create that thought-provoking art that you do? Uh, that, that is very difficult. Um, I used to do six cartoons a week. It was just like one after the other after the other and it, those, those choices weren't as hard. Uh, now that I do three, I, I do have to think. Uh, I, I think conceptually, what am I trying to say? Um, I'm not trying to think of of, of jokes, I'm not trying to think of all that. I'm trying to think what I'm, what I'm going to say and then how to say it. And then I love, that's the magic of cartooning. It's, it's Then you start thinking, well, how am I going to say it? Is it with pop culture? Is it with an, a parody of an advert or a movie? Is it with a kind of a comic strip thing with a, a, a little twist at the end? Is it, a, is it a sitcom? Is it conceptual? Once I get working with the material, I just love that process. And then sometimes the cartoons transcend what I've started out with and become, you know, you've got almost two things. It looks like it's a... It's a cartoon about a, a funny advert and it turns out to be about the Zondo Commission or whatever that is. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I'm sure it's quite cathartic as well and, and we need that this year just to be able to process. Sometimes it might turn itself or you might lend on a, a famous musical meme that had the whole world <laughs> gripped. And I, I understand for an introverted artist, you're quite an extrovert when it comes to singing. I'm going to ask you now if you can give us an example of one of the, the pieces and please get uh, uh, give us a bit of an exploration behind the Macarona. Okay, well, here we go. This this is the cartoon <laughs> that I'm talking about, and uh, it is it, it, it is the the one that really kind of kicked off the thing uh, for me. So I'll talk about it for a second and say that right at the beginning of the 
the pandemic. We, we didn't really, I don't think we understood what it was going to be. I don't think anyone really across the world knew just what was coming. Uh, there were people who understood what a pandemic would be. And there are a lot of conspiracy theories about those kind of people, people like Bill Gates and Dr. Fauci and uh, Dr. Karim here in South Africa. People say, well, how did they know exactly what was going to happen? And then they start like playing the conspiracy theories. They knew what would happen if a real pandemic would happen. And when we, at the beginning, I was doing cartoons that were about other things. And then they just sort of brought the 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 pandemic in as a kind of a theme like i've done with sars and mers and 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 ebola and other things but suddenly this became a pandemic and i knew i had to do something to try and encapsulate the whole thing you'll notice there are no masks in this one because masks uh -huh. were only mandated later but i was trying to do right at the beginning in march what was this all about so here we go give it a and crack it got viral the macarona Keep your social distance around about a meter. Don't shake hands, use the elbow or the feet. Avoid big crowds, you should rather be a loner. Ay, macarona. <laughs> Sneeze into your elbow, essential hygiene. If you're symptomatic, maybe self-quarantine. It's all gone global from Beijing to Barcelona. Ay, macarona. <laughs> Clean hands off and sanitizer listen to official medical advisor ignore fake news when it dings on your phone i am a corona conspiracy get a man religious polemic it's not god's fury it's a viral pandemic i am a corona we, we, we don't expect anything less than, yeah. than controversy from you my friend even in a breakfast tv setting and um, that is quite brilliant and um you made us laugh and i think ultimately we as south africans have learned to laugh at ourselves during the craziest of times so thank you so much for allowing us to do that but also for for just shining a light an unwavering light on, on areas of our society that really do need to be highlighted mm -hmm. and for us to think, as I said earlier, critically about. So um, all the best for this particular one. I'm sure it's going to be as successful as all of your other um, iterations. We really do appreciate your time this morning and all of the effort that you've put into, into um, all of the, the body of work. I meant what I said earlier. You are a national treasure, my friend. Um, so thank you so much for, for sharing this, this time and a bit of um, hip-shaking macarona with us this morning. <laughs> we really do appreciate it. Great. Thanks so much for having me. I've, I, I enjoyed it. <laughs> what a legend. Hey, he is Macarena. a living legend, man. He's a living <laughs> legend. Oh, but 2020 was a year that has gone down in the history books for sure. And whatever happens in 2021, I'm sure we'll be ready to capture it with just the right amount of hilarity and wit.